What's going on everyone? This is Slacker with another figure review. Today we are looking at the uh, Dark Horse Comics Halo UNSC Pelican Dropship uh, replica. Now I'm not a big uh, video game person and I'm not really the biggest Halo fan. However, I do like a lot of uh, concept uh, or concepts in Halo and the overall storyline I think is very cool. Um, I don't play video games, actually a lot of newer games I watch on YouTube. They have the uh, kind of the, the full walkthroughs or people cut it up into like a movie. So I have actually seen most of the Halo campaigns uh, in video form. Uh, I prefer that to actually playing the, the games. I just like watching and getting the uh, the highlights or the cliff notes of the games. And again, uh, one of the things I do love in all sci-fi is the idea of a uh, drop ship. I'm a big sci-fi nerd and I'm a big Aliens fan, so I always loved the Aliens uh, drop ship. And I always liked the spin-offs in different uh, sci-fi movies or comics or whatever of the drop ship or troop transport. Uh, in a sci-fi universe so the halo uh, pelican I always thought was a really cool design and I actually like it a lot better than the aliens dropship uh, it's probably one of my favorite dropship uh, you know concept vehicles uh, that's out there so I saw that this was out I apparently this has been out for a long time now and I just kind of stumbled upon it and actually dark horse and halo have a lot more uh, six inch uh, replicas coming out of the bigger capital ships that I'll probably get because I do like the design of it. So anyway, I picked this up and uh, figured I would review it. Um, as far as the box is concerned, it just comes in a uh, kind of a big box. And then what's really cool is that it's actually encased in foam. So you have to cut open the foam. And then after the foam, it's in plastic bags. So that's very cool. As far as accessories or what it comes with, it just comes with this base, which has the uh, UNSC logo there, a metal rod, and then the actual Pelican itself. And what is cool is this detaches, so you can just have the Pelican by itself. And this is die-cast metal, which is very cool, so it's real heavy and real sturdy. Um, again, just taking a look at the details, I think this is uh, very well painted and very well sculpted. Um, as you can see the kind of the honeycomb vents there which is really cool and then if my camera will focus it has some uh, two mini guns or machine guns on the nose then the dual co uh, cockpit area and then again it has some very cool paint some looks like some grays in there then the UNSC logo um, it has UNSC on the bottom which is real cool and then it has these uh, thrusters here for the uh, VTOL or the vertical takeoff and landing function <clears throat> excuse me then again on the side it has another UNSC uh, logo or printed on there and then the back is what I really like I really like the design of the thrusters in the back um, to get a good look at that so you have the two uh, honeycomb vents there then you have you can kind of see it the two vents or two thrusters in the back there and then again two more of the honeycomb thrusters on the wings so like I said I'm a big uh, sci-fi nerd and I like anything to do with uh, troop transport or drop ships anything like that and in my opinion uh, this is one of the coolest uh, dropship concepts in all of sci-fi. I like it even better than the Aliens. Uh, I think it's what the Cheyenne dropship from Aliens. I think this is a lot better, a lot cooler, if you ask me. And overall, I think this is a great replica. It's great for a desk, and, it's, and what's really cool is this, again, this detaches so you can play with it as well. Um, so that's it. That's my thoughts on this. It's a very cool... Uh, statue or figure or replica whatever you want to call it and again I think Dark Horse has a whole line of Halo replicas um, some of which I'm gonna pick up as far as more Halo stuff like I said I'm not a big Halo video game guy but I do like the 
some of the characters and the, the overall storyline. I did pick up the Mattel uh, six inch Halo line. So I'm going to start reviewing some of those. I think I have three or four of them. Uh, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are kind of uh, shitty. But I will be reviewing those figures. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.